previously on Ecom. Again. Oh yeah, the first five episodes are like a special crossover event. For the first time since Ronnie passed, I think I'm really ready to get back out there. Um, what? First time? Oh my god. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Guess you drew a lucky hand. Tell them who has a winning hand. Jackpot. Oh my god, stop. Now what? We raise the stakes. Oh, they made enough of fucking play the joke. Well, the, that last one I'm fine with, the other ones I'm not. No, don't be fine with any of them. Alan, does me being a meta make working for me more difficult? Yes, you whore. We've been flirting for months, and one night we were playing D&D, &D and it just happened. <laughs> Imagine, it, it was okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> I had to look up the morning, Chester was gone. Just uh, I don't buy that. <laughs> yeah. Doesn't seem the player type to me. Do any of us have any clue what the fuck just happened? No. <laughs> I'm, no. Gonna, I'm gonna try my best. So, the reason why we kept seeing coincidences happen to Barry was because the first flash was changed the timeline and the changes were still coming into place. And the event that caused Armageddon was Barry reversing the timeline, causing a big time loop, but still changes within them, which can't cause the time loop. Damn, know, he's uh, packing uh, heat. Why? What? what? Oh, Bart and Nora are done for the what? Ronnie. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> season, eight, season 8 theme. You're meant to have a mystery that someone wants to be able to solve. You literally can't. If you could solve this, you have to be mentally retarded. So, uh, hello everyone. Uh, how how you doing? It has been a while. Well, not for you, for it's, we you've seen like weekly releases of us watching this show but for us it has been a long time since we last watched um the flash and we're really excited because we love this show and it came it's back and we best. unfortunately we had to wait a few weeks to watch it because everyone was busy but we finally are able to do it and start episode six aren't you all very excited to do it guys we're getting to season nine yeah mm. hmm. So this, Roar. this this episode is dedicated to the Flash season nine, which would be the best season of television of all and, time. Mm -hmm. And also it's dedicated to a Flash movie, which is never going to fucking come out at this point. Yeah. Um, Especially when the main star has so been you have no faith. countless times <laughs> and seems to be on a Dude. fucking manhunt. They're going to do the, the fucking Army of the Dead thing. They're just going to composite some other actor over Ezra Miller. It'll be fine, don't worry. Grant just yeah, did appeared. you not watch the Snyder Cut? Faith, <laughs> Alfred, Faith. <laughs> it, it, two minutes Hopefully in. Superman shows up. Hopefully. <laughs> two minutes in, um, Ezra Miller Flash goes and uh, changes the timeline and becomes a different Flash. Unironically, I, I, I feel like, because I've heard a lot of people say that, I'm like, that could actually be a good way to do it. You just revert the timeline in the beginning, and then you have another actor for the entire film. <laughs> Now I'm just picturing like this with a flash set where like the director says like he said you come now with this hope not too late and it's fucking Grant Gustin. <laughs> <laughs> I mean I very much prefer Grant Gustin to play Flash in live action in uh, the films, honestly. Yeah, Grant Gustin <laughs> is a G. He's never thrown a chair at anybody before, as far as we know. <laughs> as far as we know. I think he's becoming a dad or is a dad now. I don't know. And I, I personally don't follow uh, Grant Gustin's life all that much. I'm going to find out just for you, Sky. Thank you, Jeb. I S wanted to know. Grant Gustin. He has a weird second name. No, not IMDB. He has a weird first name. Imagine being called Grant. Mm. Am I right, Jeb? Mm -hmm. Grant. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Grant Paulson. Could it be me? Oh no. <laughs> oh yeah, they, he has a daughter. Well, good for him. So this episode is dedicated to Flash Season 9 and Grant Gustin's daughter. So if either what of if you Grant... are watching this, I, I hope you enjoy our reaction to what your if... dad's show. What if in the future, like 20 years time, we get a Flash reboot with his daughter? I mean, I couldn't... I, I wouldn't put it past them, the but uh, it would depend on who owns the rights by then. I guess. But anyway, yeah. yeah. Flash, season 8, episode 6. Yes, I'm so excited, yeah. man. I'm shaking. 
mm-hmm. literally pissing mm-hmm. and coming. Oh, wait, give me a sec. I'm going to literally piss my own ass. He forgot to grab the tissues. Oh my god, we got six months to go in the house. <laughs> oh shit, Cisco. Cisco. Wait, did they get married again? Why oh, would they get married again? Is it the next season where he left? I thought he left before this season. Yeah, this is six months ago. So, what happened then? Like Vow renewals. Oh, okay. Is this the famous Barts that people talk about? Mm-hmm. Yes. Cool. I check with Gideon. No changes to the timeline. Everything's fine. I love how Nora was worried, and it's like, if you're worried, maybe don't come to the past to put the future in danger. See you the next celebration. Oh yeah. Wait. That's retarded. It said that they didn't change the timeline, but they did. Remember the ending of the last episode was them showing up in like a picture in um, at, at the police station? Kind of. That's vaguely familiar. Is it weird that seeing Uncle Jay alive just made me miss him more? Obviously no, not. That's what? not. No, that's not that's weird. That's not weird. It's the most normal <laughs> thing ever. Um. Uh, Jay's gone apparently. Oh, Jay. Oh no. They stole the helmet. Fuck. Oh. Hello, oh. Jay again. Who's hungry? Okay. Okay, so he's alive now. Bart, are you okay, son? I just missed you so much. Aww. Bart's a much better actor than Nora. <laughs> yes. That was just like night and day. Very different. Yeah. Um, I thought they would only have this intro for Armageddon, but I guess it's for the entire Chester. season. My favorite character, Chester. Yes. <laughs> I saw him in the intro. <laughs> yeah, you remember he had dreadlocks in the other timeline, and he almost killed his friend and his parents. I get you, just couldn't tell that. Yeah, Gideon said no. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the best episode. <laughs> Guys, someone being alive that they shouldn't be alive doesn't make it a good thing. That makes it a good sad. <laughs> they haven't watched Doctor Who's guy. In Milan for their anniversary at La Verita Rustica. Anniversary of their wedding vow renewal. But the rest of Team Flash can pop by, right? They're all kind of busy, which you already know. Now, why the third degree? Nothing. Yeah, We're no, fine. We're... Big Burger is just basically a diet fine. McDonald's. Thanks to your brother. <laughs> Did you say a diet McDonald's? A few months ago, I thought my race might be finally finished. Isn't Jay good? Just an oh my god. Day. Okay. The exposition, I love it. Um, isn't Jay just gonna realize that they're fucking just like your dad worried that they changed the timeline? Considering their speedsters, yeah, that would be a worry that he should have and would understand, right? Especially yeah, with exactly. the reaction to just seeing yeah. the, uh, he, it's to them seeing him again. Yeah, he should know it's something. Who's Aunt Rose? <laughs> Okay, at this point, he My should fucking know. wife, yeah. you twats. <laughs> what is up with you two tonight? Come on, Jay. You're also a speedster, mm-hmm. aren't you? That... Okay. That statue so looked really this. bad. When we chase Godspeed through time using the cosmic treadmill, only it wasn't... You're saying this a bit loud, guys. Our tachyon energies must have caused massive temporal fissures. Do you think that they would have Gideon discussed that before tell. they got here, right? <laughs> and also, yeah, Gideon just can't tell. <laughs> massive temporal fissures, just, yeah. That sounds like the most blatantly just random science stuff to sound smart. How is that not detected? Someone being a race that Gideon, wasn't... okay. <laughs> They're just a tomorrow, it's just fundamentally broken by this logic. Yeah. Uh, we got to be so negative because season 9 is coming, so... Don't tell me Joe's dead again. December 31st, 2013. No, he became a, a fucking chief after it. So, if we save that's from shot, <laughs> so he got shot in the Here's beginning of the show. Me. Yeah, that's like before the show began even, because the show was 2014. So Barry isn't yeah. in the speedster by this point. Oh, so this is why they showed up in the fucking picture at the end of the last episode. They're gonna save Joe. Done this for a long time. What am I supposed to say? Breathe, detective. He didn't talk to Cecile Wait, until what? way later. Way later. This, yeah, this, this isn't right. 
Hey. Guys, no. Wasn't it se season three? Because I remember when I was rewatching it recently. Yeah. Yeah. She doesn't appear until season three, I thought. And Joe was an interest in a relationship because he was still trying to focus on Flash, like Barry and uh, Iris. What? What? Just happened? <laughs> what the fuck is happening? SJW. I know, but unironically, that would be, but I'm confused. What the fuck is happening? The quartering is flipping over his table right now. Then again, her divorce just finalized last week. Oh, so I guess this. Is today? I guess that's why he gave happen, up. happen, and then he <laughs> waited until season three. Remember what we learned in 2049. We have to stop what happens yeah, no, today. You don't. We cannot interact with anyone who is connected to our Thanks for saying that to the audience, but you forgot to look at the camera. No we have to do a <laughs> Who the uh, fuck are you? Do you not know who he I is? I remember him, yeah. Um, no, no, I'm, pre I'm pretending to be, uh -huh. uh, to be him talking to the kids. Oh, yeah. oh, I was good to say, he is the I, I know he's Flash character. Yeah, yeah, he killed himself at the end of season one, right? Yes. To stop yeah. Thawne, and then didn't stop Thawne yeah, because hard. it's the show. And then Barry decided to fuck like himself. We're intern CSIs, we're here to help out because we've heard that one of your CSIs is, um... Dead. Under the weather. Oh yeah, he was in a coma by this point, so... That's it. Just they're keeping consistent, I guess. A new partner barely speaks to me. Get him a cup of coffee. Don't stop. They're changing the timeline. Oh my god. It's a great idea. Literally after Nora's like we can't interact with people. <laughs> Take their orders. It's on me. Detective, we have a, so much science to get done today. Have science, but uh, just, just stop Nora. <laughs> no Nora. He's right. Nora, we can't change the timeline. Also Nora, let's buy this guy coffee and his fucking that sacrificed himself to stop you Oh my god, this is so Let's not say this to that. Don't sit around you. Now we are his coffee gophers when we're supposed to be looking out for Grandma Joe. Yeah, and you agreed to do it. You fucking Oh my god. Barry and Iris should have had the bullshits. It's <laughs> Jesus. Barry They should have wear a fucking condom. They should have like just looked inside confirm that joe is in there and then just run outside to not have any interactions like that are you retarded nora buying coffee nora, will change the timeline oh, she said like, you can't use your speed in case the timeline changes but we're getting the drinks that changes the timeline yeah you do realize that every second that we're standing here grandpa joe could be getting shot like now exactly what do you mean stop just stay with him <laughs> you literally told her or she told you that you can't interact with people. And he, oh, fuck off. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Please. They're doing no. the, wor the worst rom-com fucking cliche. Studying temporal dynamics. How do you know so much about quantum divergence? I'm from the future. No way, me too. Wait, you. <laughs> Dude, I'm totally messing with you. Time travel. Why would you fall for that? It is possible, though. Mathematically, if I'm Shut the fuck up. <laughs> oh my god, this god. show is so <laughs> stupid. Shut up, shut up, shut up. Oh no. I think, oh, what's her name? She appeared in... What the fuck am I watching? Three, I think. I don't remember her, but if you say so. I'm Avery. I'm pretty sure that's a reference. I need to find this out. I know no, the flash. please, one. shut up. I'm just buckle off, just leave. Is he gonna tell her to go to Star Labs? Holy fuck! Just these two the characters are generally some of the most retarded characters I've ever seen. Does he actually have brain damage? <laughs> what the fuck? Job? Don't fuck up the timeline. Hasn't even been a solid hour since Nora said don't fucking talk to anybody because it could change the timeline. Well, it was literally within 30 you... seconds of them talking about how they have to go to Joe and stop him from getting shot. And he just you spent something... like two minutes talking to her. You wanna know something funny? So I did a search on her name. She could be Avery Ho, who's a speedster, according to the comics. So... Oh, good, I It's either an easter egg or it's a cell. What the fuck? Don't oh my God. What they just stole. I forgot a bag, alright? Only taken the ethically sourced conflict free diamond. Okay. What the fuck? Okay, so what the the fuck? if Nerd <laughs> Erotic were to make a video about this episode being SJW, I honestly couldn't blame him.
Oh, okay. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> you dropped the gun and it made <laughs> 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 How can you be that much of a close? <laughs> 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 Why do they keep doing this show? <laughs> Please, let the show never end. Catch it, catch it, catch it, catch it. Guys, why not just stop the bell eh? Because she said she can't stop another, uh, they can cause another temporal flux. But it doesn't, like what she said makes sense, but they're, in terms of their characters, they're fucking retarded. Also, I like how he steals the diamonds that are not blood diamonds and says that's ethical. I'm like, okay. You shouldn't have done that. So I want Grandpa Joe instead of the bullet. What's the big deal? This. Look, now more temporal particles are in flux. You made everything worse. Man, she's a terrible actress. But if you stop the bullet, <laughs> that would have the same impact. If the bullet was the origin of it, then I don't understand why this would work. What the fuck is this what? Then I'm not alone. What the fuck is that? Wait, Why are you talking to yourself? What the fuck is happening? What the fuck is this episode? This is what? The whole timeline's in flux. But like <laughs> So okay. God, what a scene. The, okay, okay, but that would have happened if you beat the fucking bullet. <laughs> Maybe don't say this when you're right next to an open crowd in a coffee shop. Yes. I mean, you could have just traveled back, seen the events, and then traveled back again to change it. Yeah, but that's too smart. <laughs> it's not smart, it's just logical. It's like, you give yourself enough time to see what happens, and then you go back yeah. to change it. We just figured you're doing so much detecting around here that we could just take this back to the to the police station and then we'll just give it back to uh, That's not how that works. Yeah. Wow. We gotta, we gotta get, get that, that footage. footage. Just... We gotta say all of this out loud. Right behind him. But if they're gonna get the footage to change the timeline anyway, why don't they just steal the footage, watch it, and then when they go back in time it won't matter anyway because they went back in time and changed the timeline. Me, big fella. Pull table. What's happening? I... There's a talking the pool table, casino. apparently. <laughs> it's just... A talking pool table. Why, like, why, why does this guy look like Cisco? <laughs> isn't he Cisco's brother? I thought brother? it was him <laughs> at first. It's, it's Cisco's like, brother, isn't he? That he died just before season 3 because of Flashpoint. It's Bisco. Hmm. <laughs> it's Cisco. But it's like Cis. No, the chance thing, I fucking forget it. Meta human. It means we're all something more now. He really is a B Tech Cisco. I'm fairly sure he's Cisco's brother. Of hiding who I am. Why hang on. Why what? are you to be type for music about criminals? Oh wait, this is that crew, isn't it? Yeah, this is the crew. The um Royal Flush Gang? Royal Flush Gang, that's the cards. One. Yeah. The Ace of Wrestling, yeah. see? It is them! They just don't oh. have the makeup. Oh my god. Oh my god, they already started with the buns. Oh no! The buns. <laughs> Am I missing something? Was there ever established metahumans before the particle accelerator exploded? Oh no, it already happened. So No, it did. Because isn't Barry in a coma right now? Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, so yeah, I guess bad. they already exist. They just... Yeah, no, I thought this was before days. that. Yeah, I was thinking that. There we go. Yeah. You could try lilacs and crumb cake. Those are her favorites. That's gonna be no test. Who was that? One of our new interns. Wait, did she, did she just give him advice on how to date Cecile, changing the timeline yeah. further? Okay. Yes. Uh, ah, I hate this show. Dad was struck by lightning. Ah. It'd be so funny if they were struck by lightning as well. Why did? Why are they showing the scene? We've I remember already the seen this beginning before. scene. No, it's in the yeah, first episode. This was I... episode one. <laughs> <laughs> About the scenes she show, the one in the pilot, where the main character gets his powers, isn't one that I think it's necessary. Super speedy save. Wait, hang on. I know her. Wait, but oh my God. that means she just showed a streak of you running. That's gonna cause questions. That also means that we should have seen the streak of reverse flash running when he killed Joe. 
um, in yes. Armageddon in the recording, and it didn't. But whatever. Wait, so wait, what? She got the idea to form the RFG years early from us. Oh my god, that makes no sense. So she hears the word metahumans and she's like, okay, so I'm gonna get these random people. They happen to have powers and we're gonna form the Royal Flesh Gang. How does she even know that those people exist to form the thing to begin with and that they have powers? I imagine she'll walk into like a bunch, a bunch of builds that have like three people and just like, ah, yeah, are metahumans and like, ah, shit, wrong building. Yeah, it's that. Okay. Did they? Dad would have gotten it right first time, never mind the fact he created a flashpoint. Whatever happened, it's both of our faults. We are in this together. Maybe we shouldn't be. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> What's happening? Yeah, because you were retarded. No okay. shit. <laughs> if you had half a brain to plan out what you have to do. I am not good enough. And the thing is, he's not really, he's not actually a bad actor, but this is so, like, so sudden that it seems like he's, his crying is fake, it's so weird. It's basically like typical uh, CW stuff. Yeah, it just happens, and then, like, he flipped the switch and he started fucking weeping. <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna wake up his to, dad oh by sending God. a fucking uh, lightning blast to his heart. I, I'm telling no. you. I'm 100% oh, certain that's what's gonna happen. <laughs> But please stop. You're ruining the timeline. They're Go gonna away. wake Barry up. <laughs> yeah. Damn it, Dad. Only you have the answers. Let me let me give you a, your heart a jump start with some lightning. <laughs> to wake you up sooner than you have to. So remember, security footage is gonna see those two run in there. Look, there are many issues with what us. they've just done, Jeb. I think security footage is the least of the issues. Well, they've just revealed their identity, so well, I don't yeah, know. but it's like, Nora changed the flash drives. Obviously, security footage inside the fucking, uh, police station is gonna catch that too. For a long time, I, I fumbled with my powers, I doubted myself. That's how we learn. And yeah, every time I fell... Why are we just not mentioning how their dad did Flashpoint? I don't know. Barry has fucked up the timeline way more than everyone else, I'm not gonna lie. Just remember what dad yeah, it's a little meme on the internet. Don't tell me that's the origin of the line. <laughs> if he had the line for these two in a coma, that's gonna be hilarious. That'd be hilarious. Oh yeah, because uh, there is the idea that people in a coma can hear stuff around them, right? That, so it could actually. That's why. That's why. Paradox ever. Yeah. That's why I kept saying, "Stop saying stuff." <laughs> <laughs> so they're not gonna wake up Barry. No, I'm thinking. God, I hope not. Oh yeah, they are. Gonna need an expert in time. Yeah, they're gonna. Oh, for fuck's sake! Wait, no, uh, they're, they're not gonna, gonna wake him up. Well. They're gonna get Jay. No. Are they gonna get time as well? I think they're gonna go get Jay. Oh, they're oh, gonna, no, get, they're her. gonna get her. <laughs> oh, so I guess that she's gonna become a speecher from this. What do you mean hi? You just heard the fucking. This you, you saw the streak? Is are you retarded? They're changing the timeline again. I mean, at this point, it doesn't matter because they've already changed the timeline. They want to go back and undo what their changes anyway. Why is every character in this fucking show the most obnoxious faggot I've ever seen? Need your help to stop a crime. Why should I? Because we're time shoppers from the future, and we need you to show us how your temporal theory can help save people at a casino robbery without actually changing the timeline. Christ. Just stop her with your power. You no, just show, just show her your fucking speed. Yeah, just have to wait until it happens to actually relocate her away from the phone. Gauntlet using integrated quantum circuitry with processing unit, AI nano cells. Uh, they're gonna call it. Uh, uh, the implications of this. Wait, so. So they, so they don't want to go back and undo the things they changed, they just want to fix the Royal Flush Gang killing people in, at the casino heist. Man, that CGI not, looks it, bad. The death toll keeps changing, but the headline doesn't. Because now it's solidified into a fixed point in time. What? That makes no sense. What? How does that make any sense? The heist 
It's too late to stop the casino. Don't no, think about it's it. not. But since the casualties keep changing, they're not fixed. Look, more like bugs. How is it? How is it fake? How can you not stop it? I'm so confused. As long as you let the heist still happen. That makes no sense. Why can't they change it? How did it become a fixed point in time? And if fixed points in time are a thing, then how the fuck did Armageddon happen? Because okay. uh, 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 Thon undid everything in that fucking Armageddon. Like, he killed Barry as a child. So, if we took all these members of the Royal Flush Gang and put them at um, equidistant points on the planet, they're not doing the casino fucking ball. Yeah. Oh, Just oh no. They took time to paint <laughs> the their faces. That's back. great, yeah. <laughs> oh boy, here we go. I'm so glad they introduced the Royal Flush Gang and Armageddon only to bring them back here. It's like really good setup and payoff. Definitely not well, something that comes out of fucking folks. nowhere. This episode, I'd decide it's tide travel. I'd have a filled day with us. Please don't make him kill you. Find the casino vault. Empty it. This is CW Joker. Show them a winning hand. Not this again. Very well. They all thought their lives were a comedy, but it turns out but No, don't stop! Okay, remember. Don't stop to talk. Don't stop to talk. Don't stop to talk. You should have planned this beforehand, guys. <laughs> Why are you playing this now? You got this. We got this. You so they're gonna leave evidence that speedsters exist. Oh, okay, they can just get. Wait, you can disappear? Yeah, they can. What? If they can be invisible, why weren't they this entire time? What? He can make Wait, other what? things invisible. Why did you do this the entire time? You could have done this the entire fucking time. Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh no! Are you show. actually fucking kidding me? I love this show so much. <laughs> It makes me so happy. They this solidifies okay, so, so, season eight holy video. Holy fuck! Okay, so they went back in time to stop Joe from being shot, right? So all they needed to do was go back in time. They wouldn't even need um like appropriate clothes for the time. They just go back in time, be invisible, follow Joe around, see when he's gonna get shot, stop it before it happens. Oh, this no. is perfect. They could have made the bag invisible. <laughs> yeah, no shit. Just get the bombs before midnight. Wait, why? Why is this so hard? Just grab her. Yeah, I mean he has super Remember speed. Remember Barry, and he can go like, invisible, so relocated whatever. everyone out of a tr of a moving train, and he can't do the same thing for people inside of a building. I am the casino manager, obviously. I am the one that was helping the customers escape, but I'm not doing that anymore. I'm not going to do that anymore. Okay. Um, dead people aren't great for business. How about I just look away? You guys just. Take the money and leave. What kind of casino manager risks his neck on minimum wage? Oh wow, there's actual brain cells. Or you're a cop. Let's see what's inside that beautiful mind of yours. Okay, use your speed, use your speed. Move out of the way, move out of the way, move out of the way, move out of the way. Oh no, my. This show Gosh. is so dumb. An idiot, Jesus Christ. Uh -huh. <laughs> they are. Please let not have a boyfriend. What the fuck? What? what? Wait, what? Wait, she's... what is Nora doing right now? I don't fucking know. I think she's getting the bomb. I think that was it. Is it taking that long? Yeah, but I mean, that was kind of smart that he was thinking of something else to like blind her of what he was thinking. But I don't understand how that could work because it's like that idea of oh, you, I can't think of X, then that forces you to think of X because that's just how our brain works, but I guess you can just- Oh my god. You have speed, the powers. I mean, this is actually kind of better that he wants to hide it. As long as they don't die, he's done his job, right? So he- Him getting hurt there is like he wouldn't use his powers. I guess, he could have dodged it though. He didn't want to get punched. It's almost midnight. Run out. It's counting down to midnight. Run out. I got rid of it. The it Move. Don't fuck around then. Run! Take it to the ocean. There's more than one bomb. <laughs> <laughs> you have super speed. Have you heard of that? <laughs> the acting. Oh, he broke his arm. You can find the rest of them. But it took me forever. You can't you run with a broken healing? arm. You didn't break your fucking legs. You broke your arm. But yeah, uh, Madvigan, he said he, it would take three minutes for his arm to heal. Oh, three minutes. She's such a bad actress. Oh my god. Oh my god, the screen screen. <laughs> Holy wow. crap. Where is she? What? I have no Where idea. Where is she what's... at a building? I have no idea what's huh? happening. 
Oh, there. What the? This fuck? is the Snyder Cut what? Wonder Woman moment where she threw the oh, bomb. She's oh. dead. Oh, super athletic. Um, oh damn that pose. Okay, so you do know <laughs> that if these bombs bomb. were gonna level a building, that would not have been. She would not have been out of range from those explosions. Oh my god. You did it. You fixed the issue that you all caused upon yourself. I'll back to square one. Every witness to the casino robbery says someone streak them outside. What? Well, nobody would use that word. Streak them. Also, also, the timeline has it restored itself because the gang is still, you know, existing. So they could do more stuff in that time. You saved my dissertation, right? Detective Pretty Boy. Detective Pretty Boy. That's Sorry, not... Uh, that's just what my dad... You. I'm sure. So she started dating him. So she started dating him while Barry wow. was in a coma. I don't remember that. Yeah. I don't remember anything for season one, honestly. Yeah, I think that makes sense because she wasn't dating him at the very beginning of the pilot. I'm pretty sure. I don't understand what the point of that scene was because we know they get together, so why include it? It doesn't change anything. Because we get a glimpse at how it started. Oh, isn't that neat? Very I'm important. Sure yeah, uh, did you know that Han Solo's name came from a random fucking officer? <laughs> yeah, that's the kind of thing that I love watching. I'm so sorry if I came off a little harsh. Before. What's the anyway. fucking point of this? I just, okay. don't know. I know that you were about to ask me something. Yeah, can I clap those cheeks? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not gonna... Oh, no. Not for a while. I'm... Fairly certain that this is a, like a huge retcon of season three. It is. I think so. Yeah. I am ready. Yeah, because the idea was like they were flirting with each other, and then Barry has to tell him to ask her out. We fixed the timeline, and we fixed the mistake we made fixing the timeline. Yeah. But the the gang's still there, please. This doesn't make sense though. Because the casino heist. They can't just leave. Yeah, no. since they're going to be in the photo, that's what we saw at the end of the last episode. But anyway, the casino the heist did not happen because of the mistake they made while trying to fix the timeline. Because that was like completely devoid of that. It was just them talking in the middle of the street, but that was not a causality of them making Joe not get shot. And, exactly. they, and the thing that caused Joe to be shot in the first place, which would have been the temporal anomaly, was never fixed. And they cause a bunch of issues like with Avery now, like it's fucking uh, telling her her theory's right and uh, proving Jesus. that they're from the future. This is so stupid. This is so, so stupid. She literally has to say verbatim out loud, you changed my life. We don't like subtle team of magic. Right. I know, we just met. Um, He's the gayest. Right? And I just think that you look... <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. He's the gayest. <laughs> He's the gayest straight guy. I this mean, isn't I mean, at all show. I... This is definitely not changing what? the timeline, right? <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> Why is this a slow mo spinning around shot? Come on, we really have to go. I guess they would kiss it that loud she could hear. I guess she knew they would end up kissing. That's the idea I got from that. She's gonna be a villain because he never came back. She's gonna be like, ugh. Like, the stupid twat from the future who killed me never came back. <laughs> yeah. This person who lives literally in the future. Maybe it. Oh, oh what was that glowy thing under the door? She, and she, but she didn't notice the glowy thing when they showed up right in front of her, and she was like, "Oh, how did you get get inside?" Wait, so, so stupid. Dead. So I was dead, killed by God's feet. Wait, how is he still alive? Didn't they fix the timeline? No, this is the thing. <laughs> they didn't do anything. <laughs> so what was the point of this episode? I'm sorry, are you kidding me? If screwed up the timeline was the deal breaker, your dad couldn't be the Flash. Yeah. Thank you. You can always try to make things better. And that's what you did today. Okay, if you say so, Jay. <laughs> I'm proud of you guys for doing fuck all ultimately. President Luther. President Luther. President Luther? I imagine it's Lena. Gotcha. Ah. Wait, but that was a... F <laughs> I guess that's something happened in Supergirl. No, it's a, it's a joke. It's a joke, Jeff. Yeah, but what I'm saying is, in Crisis, Lex Luthor was the... Iris! Uh, president. On. Yeah, and that would be the joke. Don't worry. Make sure we're on time. After surviving Armageddon, we all deserve this. Thanks, bro. That, 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 that dialogue does very good. Yeah, I just realized that Hi, Barry hasn't showed up until now. Crime Why are you still what? here? He's turned over a new leaf, and I made him swear to stay on the straight and narrow. Leaves? You've been suffering too Katie's. much. Okay, everybody, hold hands. Bundle up. What? It's Killian Paris. 
Oh, he's gonna run you back. Relocate everybody. Ha so okay. Something bad's gonna happen. Oh, what? No. Oh, oh my no, god, the, the brush goes. disappeared! Oh no! They're changing the timeline, this brush disappeared! <laughs> Not the time brush! <laughs> Not what was this episode? Jeb! Jeb, I want to hear your thoughts on this episode. You or you. I want to hear what you have to say about it, please. It's because I'm the time travel guy. Um. Ooh. See, this gives Loki a run for his money. <laughs> and, and how bad it is on Saz cause and effect, because you can't follow this. It's actually impossible. There's so many plot holes in the time travel that they, I, I, I'm not going to call it time travel. <laughs> like, the whole um, method that kind of starts and fits them do more changes is instead of move Joe, they wanted to move the bullet, but if you move the bullet out of the way, that's going to actually cause more issues than moving Joe. No, no, the idea was, if we move the bullet, that's going to cause a temporal flux, and that's why Bart was like, no, I'm going to move Joe instead, and that's going to fix things. No, and no, but the, but the issue is, um, Nora kept saying moving the bullet would have fixed things, not moving Joe. No, she didn't say that. She said that uh, they she, can't she, move the bullet. She said... She said they should have moved the bullet after he moved Joe. Re really? Because that makes yes. sense. Yes, yes. One hundred percent. I was trying to pay oh, attention. Oh yeah, to that. by what moving Grandpa Joe instead of moving the bullet, you created a new series of events, changing the timeline. Yeah, that's her dialogue. That's what he would have warned yeah. you about if you hadn't rushed in. But that wasn't what you were warning him about then, you fucking retard. This makes no sense. <laughs> exactly. So therefore. The implication is moving the bullet would have been better, when actually, no, moving Joe would have been better. Oh, yeah, because moving Joe is obviously better, better, yeah. I, and then they fit, they fixed the timeline, but the Royal Flush Gang are still around, categorically. And they did a heist that they didn't do from, uh, from the start, and now they're going to be around for months until Barry wakes up, right? Because it's... doesn't Barry wake up, like, in April around there uh, in uh, 2014? I... I don't, I don't think he wakes know. up in like New Year's. Um, let me see the Flash pilot transcript. But like, none of what they do equates to what they're saying it does or what the show shows it does. Oh no, yeah, this ha makes absolutely no fucking sense. And the thing is, time travel. So people uh, ha find time travel complicated, um, and it depends how you go about it. But if you're doing purely simply you go back in time make a change and the timeline changes that's really easy to do because as long as you've got um, a basic and then this happens and then this happens all you do is edit a bit of what happens and then says what is the impact of that that's so easy to do that's the easiest form of time travel <laughs> and they fuck it up but yeah <laughs> this was a really good episode guys yeah 10 out of 10 I, mm -hmm. Yep. You're advocate, <laughs> do you plan on going through every season of The Flash in your series? Yeah, I, might as well, I might as well milk it as much <laughs> as they're milking the show. That's fair. <laughs> because I'm like, so the first epi five episodes, Armageddon, they were really, really bad. Um, and especially episode four has some of the most, most of the stuff you, you criticize in your videos of Barry being incompetent, first Flash being incompetent and all that. Um, but this episode is a whole other level of incompetence. Like, unironically, you can make an hour-long video, like, uh, in that style you do with just this episode with how retarded the characters are. It is insane. I'm baffled by how bad this is. Yeah, it's, I like going over this episode. I don't even think there will be anything to say because I feel like it just speaks for itself. <laughs> what What am I supposed to add to that? It's like. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. <laughs> how 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 can I like explain it in a <laughs> in a cohesive way without like g rambling on for way too long? Yeah, that is a it's a fair question. I don't think there is any way to answer it's... it. So yeah, that was episode six. I I hope you enjoyed us watching us watch it because we didn't enjoy mm -hmm. it. I'm just very confused.
It's amazing. <laughs> I'm so proud. <laughs> Fucking brilliant. Uh, 10 out of 10.